Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Kellen here with Droid Life. So I've got in front of me a Chromebook. Now, I know we don't typically talk about Chromebooks on this channel or this website, but we're doing it now, and we're probably going to a lot going forward because of that right there. That's Google Play up and running on a Chromebook. So you guys know from Google I.O., they announced that Android apps and Google Play were coming to Chromebooks. The Asus Chromebook Flip, which is what this is, is one of the first to get it. Actually, it's the first to get it. So they told us to expect it in June with developer channel Chrome OS 53, and that's out. So we've got it on here. It's early, it's buggy, trust me. And this isn't the most high-end device ever, but we're still gonna walk you through quickly how this works uh, because this is a big deal. So let's get into this. This is Android apps running on a Chromebook. All right, so there's not a ton to show you here because again, this is really early. It's Chrome OS 53 in the developer channel on a sort of lower spec Chromebook. This isn't going to be the optimal experience, but you guys still need to see this. So uh, what we've got for those who haven't been paying attention is, well, Google Play and Android apps running on a Chromebook. So uh, if you are if you own an Asus Chromebook Flip, or even if you own the Chromebook Pixel 2015 or the Acer Chromebook R11, those are the three devices that Google has said will get Google Play the first, which is basically right now. So if you own any of these and you want to dive in, well, at least the Flip for now, but if you own those other two and you want to get ready for it, uh, what you have to do is join the, the developer channel. Now, it's unstable. And so I, I don't, I'm not recommending you do this, but if you want to play around with it, you can flip back and forth too, by the way, from the beta stable and developer. So don't, don't get too scared about this, but in order to do it, you go into settings, click on the about Chrome OS link up there, brings you to this box. You're going to click more info. And then there's this option to change channel. And you can see right there, you've got stable beta and developer. So if you want to go developer, tap on developer. Once you do that, it'll start downloading the developer version. It'll install it, ask you to reboot, and then you'll be up running the developer version it's really that easy and if you want to change back go back in there choose beta stable whatever you want to do so uh once you're there you will see this option right here android apps and all you do is check that box google play gets installed you basically approve it and say yes i want to start using google play and android apps on here and then you're sort of off to the run and uh, this is what you get. You get Google Play. And so you can start installing some of your favorite apps, favorite games, playing around with things, seeing what's broken, what's not, all of that stuff. Now, I will tell you, uh, again, developer version, unstable, on a lower spec device like this, it's not going to be pretty. There's going to be bugs. There's issues. And you'll probably see that as I'm starting to walk through this. But uh, let's sort of get into it. So uh, we can close this. Oh, and by the way, this is touchscreen. And it does flip and basically make a tablet. I'll show you that more in just a second. But uh, basically what you do is go in and you look through your apps. And so this is sort of what you would look like on a stock Chromebook with basically the Google shortcuts that open up websites. Uh, but once you get Google Play, you can see this section over here is mostly stuff that I have downloaded. So um, let's just take, for example, Google Play. We'll just show you how this works. Now, being a touch screen, um, I can touch and move all of the stuff, but I can also use the mouse and click on all these options and go into settings and my apps and games. And here you can see the apps that I have installed, um, recently updated, all of that stuff. I can swipe between, look at subscriptions, look at my all list. Um, and you can do this on the, uh, on the, on the mouse pad as well. So you can flip between all of this, uh, you can go in and tap on an app and it'll load up that apps page where you can then uninstall it. If it's an un uninstallable app, open it, read reviews, um, and basically get that sort of normal Google Play experience you guys would expect. Now, if we swipe over here to all, this is just the best way I can show you this. But you can see, you know, your list of apps, if they're installed. If you see free here or a price tag, there's a pretty good chance you can install that. Um, but you will see some options like these two where you aren't getting, or these three, I should say, where you don't see free or pay. That means those just aren't compatible. Now, Google says not everything's compatible, but they're going to make it really easy for developers to make their apps compatible. So for some of these guys, if they want to go this route that's just something they're gonna to need to work in on their own time uh, but if you want to install something like here's Trello which is an app we use at Droid Life so to install you just tap install and then it downloads and then it installs and then you hit open and that's it and then you can log in with Google or however you log in and it just then sort of works like there isn't anything special you need to do and then you have an app running here um, and now once you have these open, you can obviously, or once you have these installed, you can do a number of things. So uh, like I installed the Google app. 
because then I sort of can open that up and get, you know, all of my Google Now cards and things like that. So let's say I've got that open and I go back in here and let's say I want to look at sports score. So I open up the score and this loads up and essentially goes into a tablet format for the most part because it's it's wider and sort of flattened out like the, like a tablet experience. Um, there's supposed to be three different sizes that apps can go to. I'm not seeing those in all apps at this time, so I don't know if that's not enabled. I just haven't figured it out, whatever it is. Um, but you know, these apps just work like they should. Like here's an article on Derrick Rose going to the Knicks and uh, it just works. So you can open all of these things. You can also use keyboard shortcuts. Um, like control or alt tab and jump between all of these different things. Um, so some other things you could do then would be uh, if we go in and look at, I haven't gotten Sonos to work yet, but Sonos is one of those particular apps that makes a lot of sense in this situation because there's not a web portal for Sonos. So if you have Sonos speakers in your house, you have to control them uh, either via des desktop computer, non-Chrome OS computer, or your phone or tablet. But with a Chromebook now, with Android apps, you could install the Sonos Android app and then control it from your Chromebook, which is something you couldn't do before. So like these are these are these are the things that you that are changing. Uh, some other things you'll notice I have Google Play Music here installed and I also have it over here in a couple different versions. So those are shortcuts basically to a mini player and then the web version. But what if I want to act, run the actual Android app? Now I can download that and sort of have it in a different app in its own app, I should say, rather than as a tab on the web. And again, you can, you know, flip through these if you want to. Um, so there's it, there's a lots of stuff going on here. Since they're running in their own windows and you will be able to resize them and you can interact with them, it really makes for quite the unique experience. Um, I can open up Twitter. And uh, just to show you that Twitter does actually work. Uh, and you can see I've, actually, I've already got the new layout and everything. Um, I can do a new tweet here and uh, go up here and type, how about, oop, I must have hit something there. There we go. How about Chromebook tweet? And then I go down here and tap the tweet button and that should then tweet out. So there it is. So you get it, you get apps. And so it becomes more like a PC experience rather than Chrome OS, which was mostly just sort of a browser experience. Now you have apps and you have access to the Google Play library of apps, which is why this is such a big deal. Um, even as Google Opinion Rewards, you can play games. Um, you also notice I have Box and Dropbox installed. So if you prefer using the Box and Dropbox apps rather than the website, you now have those on here. Uh, Snapseed seems to fully work as well. I can go in here and load up a photo and uh, I can make it basically full screen and hide that bottom menu bar and pull up, you know, a filter or something and go with, how about Retro Lux? And that changes that. And I can swipe and edit here. Um, and I can change maybe the scratches on it and really ramp that up, how about? Um, so you guys get it, and then you can save that. So I can be done, and then I can save that. And then now that is saved. So there's all sorts of pretty cool stuff going on here. And then if I'm done with that, I just close it. And if I'm done with Twitter, I close it. Done with Google Play. So I can close all of these things. Um, it's it's early and it's rough around the edges and I can't wait for it to get on the Pixel, which is a device that's actually pretty strong and powerful and should be able to really run this stuff better. I might even hook that up to a monitor so I have even more space to play with all these apps. But you sort of get it. Um, I wanna play with Lightroom to see photo editing, if we can do any sort of bigger photo editing now on a Chromebook. We'll find some video editing apps. We'll do all sorts of stuff. Um, but since these now run Android apps, they're kind of like Android devices in a way. And so we're going to start talking more about them. Hope you guys are excited about them as we are. Obviously, this is just the first step. So uh, Asus Chromebook Flip is the first to get it. If you want to pick one of these up, uh, they're sold out, I believe, at the Google store. Everyone flocked to them. I got one at Best Buy today for like 230 bucks. So they're super, super inexpensive. Um, and so let's just do this maybe to finish out. Well, let's close everything before we do this free up there's only like two gig of ram on this thing but so you can go into crossy road and because this is a flip and it does flip to be a tablet should be able to flip that right over and play crossy road in full tablet style and sure enough it is allowing me to do that so we'll just wait for that to load you can hear there we've got full audio and you guys know how crossy road works 
So once that loads, we'll try not to get run over by the train. And here's Crossy Road for you. So all of this stuff works. And because this is a touch screen, everything just kind of works. Um, so, you know, this just seems like what could be, you know, the future of some sort of mobile computing, which we're really excited about because it ties in Android with a, uh, a more desktop centric OS. So anyways, if you guys have comments, questions, or want us to test anything as usual, we can do that. For now, we are Droid Life. Peace.